Greetings, minions, survivalists, and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade playing... Well, what else am I playing? Seven Days to Die, Alpha 16.4, and this is episode number 81, November 6th. And, uh, well, that's the date that this comes out. I'm recording this on Sunday morning uh, at... Well, it says 2.22 on my clock over there, but it's daylight savings time, so technically it's 1.22. Would have gotten on earlier to record, but I've been negligent and I haven't been uh, replying to the comments as well as often as I should. And so I spent some time and answered all the comments and uh, got caught up on that. Since this is the Monday episode and... Uh, Mondays technically are the days that oh, I kind of like get you guys caught up on what's going on with the channel and, and all that. I uh, just wanted to point out that because of Pamela Goodman and her husband Leo, can't forget him, I got, let's see if you can see that, I got a new gaming mouse. It's a Logitech uh, 502 Proteus Spectrum. I don't know if you could see all that. It's focusing in right. But it's, this sucker is nice. It's got, uh, you pull that away, you could put weights in it. Uh, yeah, right there, you could put weights in it. I only got two weights in it. Still kind of calibrating it to my, my feel and touch. It's also got DPI switches so that you can change how fast it moves. And you can see that's pretty slick right there. And it's only on the second setting. But if I hold down this one button, the shift button, it's like for for sniping, you can get that precision uh, aim. So it's like 200 DPI when I hold this button down. And then if I max the sucker out, whoop, 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 it's almost uncontrollable because I haven't set it quite right yet. But tweak it down. Let's see. Third setting. Fourth setting's pretty quick. Nice and snappy. And the fourth one's a little out of control, but like I said, I'm still calibrating it and getting used to it, especially with the game. But uh, So thank you, Pam and Leo, for the birthday present. I love it. And uh, yeah, this thing's going to be a lot nicer than the old Dell. Uh, let me see if I can show you that. Let's see if I got it in here. I got it somewhere, but uh, I have an old, old Dell mouse that I was using. And it was working, but it was starting to show its age. And if I click once, it would actually double click. So I, if I went to cancel out a window, it would cancel that and the window underneath it. If I was going to highlight a link uh, to copy and paste it, like I do with Patreon, Minds, and Gab that I put my video links into, uh, it would highlight it. And then as soon as I let off the mouse button, it would click it, and it's just like, ah, oh, it's a pain in the ass. So, this has saved my bacon. It really has. Plus, it's just so, so smooth. It's like whiskey smooth. It's smooth! <laughs> so, anyways, uh, with that being said, again, thank you, Pam and Leo. Uh, I've got enough money now to get the video card. I'm waiting until Thanksgiving or when the, the sales come in. And so that's like a, almost a month away type thing. So what I'm doing, trying to be smart, is uh, I'm taking the money and converting it into Bitcoin because I can buy the new video card with Bitcoin uh, on Newegg. And since right now Bitcoin is sitting around $7,000 and it just keeps going up, at least for the time being, I'm holding on to it. Uh, another thing about Bitcoin is that on the 15th of November, uh, Bitcoin is going to do another hard fork. And what that means is if you're holding Bitcoin at the time of the fork, you will get essentially free money uh, that'll be in, I can't remember, the Segwit2x, I think is what it's called. So you get your rich, you you keep what you have in Bitcoin, and they'll give you free Segwit 2x, which you can sell at a profit because it's free money. So doing that, I'm hoping that not only can I 
have the Bitcoin available to buy the new video card, but also to have uh, also a, a power supply, uh, but also have a little left over to save up for the next improvement for my my gear. And I'm thinking I might be saving up for a Blue Yeti microphone because this one's starting to get a little inconsistent and tedious. Um, all right, so I'm going to switch to sniper view here. <laughs> Gotta get adjusted yet, but hey, hey there's a splody head. And the first splody head of the episode and of the week is a good splody head. But, uh, but yeah, I, I'm thinking of getting a Blue Yeti microphone, which is about 100 bucks, And then um, also, uh, if you watch Midnight Designer's channel, and you should, you probably know that he's got uh, the Elgato gaming board uh, you know, for streaming. Push the buttons and have him program to do certain things. And uh, It's not an absolute necessity, but it's something... You know, it'd be just kind of nice to have. Especially if I can get into streaming again. Which I can't really say for sure I can get a steady schedule on, but I would like to get back into streaming, and, and that way I can play with you guys, instead of you guys just watching me have all the fun. And, uh... Also, I just be able to help around the house with my folks and stuff like that. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, everything's going pretty good. And right now, I'm just kind of harvesting some resources and uh, using up some time till dark. Oops. Yeah. All right. So, sniper. Now, it probably works a lot better if I had a crosshair and then use the sniper button um, on the mouse, but but it does help help with that fine-tuned shooting. Oop, saw a nest. And we're getting into running time. What I really want to do is mine some stone because I'm going to need it. I'm also needing wood because uh, I'm getting a little on the low side, I think. But not really bad. So, yeah. Okay. So, if we just keep an eye out. They are running now, and we will be drawing their attention. And my health is a little bit borked at the moment. Luckily, got two weapons on me, and I know how to run. <laughs> Excuse. So, if I recall, there is some resource boulders up this way. So we'll head up towards the trader and hopefully find some, some good boulders to munch up on. Not only do I need the stone, I also need the nitrate. I also need the lead and some coal. And uh, all that goodness. See where we're at here. Okay, not too bad I'm with. We'll just keep going at it. I know it's a night episode, and the trees are actually quite loud. But uh, it's a night episode, but we got the headlights, so it's all good. It makes things a little extra creepy, too. Alright. There's some lead here. Uh, and we'll go after the resource boulders instead. Get those deposits by day. So 
So right now I have uh, the forge is cooking away on some stone that I plan to turn into concrete or concrete mix. And uh, definitely going to be needing that. squat like like that <laughs> just got to keep the ears perked up for trouble I know you're out there You know I'm out here. <laughs> Woo! I did it with a sniper button. Aw, oh, he wasn't holding. Running and hitting the sniper button wasn't exactly the best choice just because it does limit my movement. But at least it got me a good lineup on the on the shot. Alright, that's yeah, this is the boulder field I'm looking for. I think I also have ammo being made in the workbench right now. Which is good, because that's kind of the priority for day 14. Okay, there's a zombie right there. Gotta be very, very careful. Oh, there's another zombie over there off to the right. Hunker down and see if it's any quieter. It's probably quiet enough for me, but not for thee. <laughs> Yay, mining tools. Maybe I can get the minor 69er skill up. Actually, there was another skill I was looking at last week, wasn't I? Yeah, it's getting the uh, chem station up. So let's see. I need to get science up to 7, which means I had to level up to 60, I believe. I am getting there. And let's see how many points I got. Four. Okay, so I got to save up. I think it was 25 points get the science level and the chemistry station. Because once I get that, I can make ammo like a boss. Or at least make uh, gunpowder like a boss. And it also gets all the manufacturing things I need all in one spot, which is perfectly ideal instead of having to rely on the trading station for that availability. So there's a zombie there. There's one over here somewhere. And the closer I get to them, the more likely they'll hear me. There's a game I've been playing on and off this past week called Cold Waters, which is a submarine simulator. And this is where problems are going to start right up here. Probably going to have to get this guy. But, of course, the thing about submarines is being silent is what keeps you alive. Oop. 
All right, they know I'm here. <laughs> Come on, lady. Whoa, that ain't good. Oof. All right, I didn't take any real, real damage, but it wasn't a pleasant occasion. <laughs> But yeah, with the, the cold water, you know, you're in a submarine, you have to kill other submarines and surface vessels, and you have to be like dead silent. You know, it's, otherwise they hear you. They hear you, they shoot torpedoes at you, and torpedoes are a pain in the butt to dodge. So having that locked in my brain, and then coming to play this. <laughs> like, alright, we have to go to, to uh, five knots on super silent, run deep, got to go like 800 feet below surface, alright, so surface contact, bearing, Zero four five degrees. <laughs> That's what happens when you play a game like that. Yeah, you know, at least for me. It's like the shift in tactics and then you put it into a different game and just like, wait, that don't make a lick of sense. So far, so good. Ooh, he's pretty dang close. Well, let's close the gap and fire torpedoes. Oh, I tried leading them, but... Yeah, that wasn't working. Tried going dead on. It's hard to do it without the crosshair. And that made it a lot, lot easier. I got pants. <laughs> oh, crap. I hears ya. Sniper button. Oh, crap. Dude, where are you running off to? What the? Q yakety sacks. <laughs> That's one of the things I would want for having the uh, Elgato gaming pad thing or streaming pad is uh, queuing up funny music for moments like this. Oh, crap. I think I just pissed him off. And I think I just missed. <laughs> Alright, Turkey. There you go. <laughs> Good stuff. And he's got gunpowder. Even better stuff. And at some point, I'm going to have to re repair or replace the uh, iron pick. Now there's another zombie out there. I think it was a biker. But I'm not gonna mess with him. Just because him being slow, he's kind of tanky. But him running and him being tanky. Not really ideal. This thing's about worn out, so we'll be heading back to base in just a moment here. 
Let's see if we can get the rest of this. Surface contacts. Return to base. <laughs> Coming about on a bearing of one two zero degrees. <laughs> plank speed. Plank speed. Wrong game, Silver. Wrong game. Get it right, dumbass. <laughs> All right. So part of the reason why I wanted to do this episode um, at this time was not only to gather some resources, but also to try to finish doing the patio. And that's cooking up pretty good. Let's go deposit... Uh, well, I better slow them. Well, the mouse is at the right speed for the moment, I guess. Lead. Okay, so we've got, got a little warm. This thing really whips around pretty sh pretty good. I might have to tweak it down even a little bit more. There's a vast difference between um, how it is in a game versus how it is on a computer desktop. So I have to uh, adjust accordingly. And it could also be the mouse sensitivity settings, too. So if you guys get a, a gaming mouse with variable dots per inch tracking, like at the bare minimum, this thing will go 200. At the maximum, 12,000, which is like one inch and it's off the screen, especially considering that this is technically 1080p with a second monitor. So it spans off to the side a little bit. So it takes a little adjustment. It might take me a few weeks to really get there, but it, it's coming along Mwah, wonderfully. All right, so let's cementify what we got so far. And let's get some edibles. Uh, okay, gonna have to make some edibles. And some drinkables. <laughs> Wait for the health hamster. That's about all we can manage out of that, I guess. And we'll wait for the health hamster before drinking. So I think the wellness also adds to healing while you drink. Okay, maybe not. That's fine. Either way, just taking that little nesty plunge break is, is a good thing. Okay, so we're not fully healed up, but we're better than we were. Um, let's see, do I have any extra... 
Yes. So I can use that to repair that a little bit. It's not going to max it out. Uh, I don't have a steel fire axe to combine with. Oh, wells. So, let's, uh... Wow. I really got to turn down the mouse sensitivity a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so we can combine this with this. Actually... If I remember right, let me pack the ammo away. Uh, if I repair the weaker pickaxe, it may reduce it in quality a little bit. But, let's see, it should boost that up a good deal more. And I probably should have. Uh, well, whatever. That's good enough for now, I guess. Okay. So what else were we going to do here? And we'll need some cement. Yeah, we're kind of low on that right now. Um... Sand as well at some point. But that should be for now. And we'll just get the blocks in place. Let's see, we got just a few more minutes left. Might as well save that, I guess, for the next episode. Um, I guess what we can do to finish this one out is clear out the uh, spikes. of it here. I don't want to get rid of all the spikes. At least not yet. Particularly since it's night time. And as you see, we've had a little bit of activity apparently. It might have been because of a uh, wandering horde last week. My memory's a little foggy on what I did last week. Nope. Didn't mean to whack that. Whack it. <laughs> I hear company. And there he is. Be very, very quiet. I'm exploding heads. Or not. <laughs> oh, he ain't dead yet. Well, we'll have to amend that. <laughs> Go down. Go down. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright, there he is clear. Uh, I guess we'll just, uh, I'll probably just go through and clear out the, uh, spikes off camera, and then we can start the next episode. So we'll deposit the tools. I guess that'll be it for now. So anyways, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Do check out the links in the description box below. And until next time, see you later. Twitch, twitch. <laughs> wow, that's really wicked with this mouse. <laughs> see ya.